Our dream for Connected is to be the next boy band of the new decade, you know. We just want to be touring the world, recording singles and albums. It's just a dream for us. Here we go. Good luck. Enjoy it. Have a look. Enjoy Good luck. Good luck. You. We I'm are Connor. connected. Could you just tell me all your names? I'm Connor. I'm Matt. I'm Harry. Max. And I'm Miles. And how old are you all? We range from 13 to 15. Okay. And who, who put this group together? Um, well, it was kind of all our idea, including the mums, so... Okay. Who do you base yourselves on? We enjoy uh, music by Westlife, Jackson 5, Boys to Men. They're our inspiration, so... And are you all friends? We're all the best of friends. Good luck. Am I your fire? Desire? Yes, I know. It's too late because I want it that way. Tell me why. I was uh, the official biographer for Take That, so I'm an expert in the first stages, <laughs> the first stages of boy bands, and I think we've got something quite good here. I was, I was got goose pimples the minute you all started singing, and I think that you've got a very big future ahead of you, really do. Simon. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're very cute, all of you. You know, you kind of look good together. Uh, here's the bad news, though. The big problem is, is that this is 15 years out of date, what you just did. And I, I think a group of your age should come out... It's true. ..and tell me what the next wave of these type of bands are, rather than somebody impersonating badly what worked 15, just, 16 years not, ago. I disagree with that more, Simon. They've all got great voices, I think. They've put that look together themselves. No, they didn't. They did. They They've didn't. thought of it on their own, no, they that, didn't. which is what this you keep saying. This has definitely come from your mums, what you're wearing. <laughs> That's it. I'm just trying to make the point that I think that what you've done was the wrong thing to do to impersonate a boy band that are no longer relevant. Well, we've got another song. All right. OK, let's have a listen. Here's yes or no. I have seen quite enough from you, and it is a big yes. Yeah. Amanda? It's a definite, without any doubt, yes. Has that song convinced him? 
I, guys, I, I, I literally, I, I stand, I stand, I stand by, I stand by what I say. I think uh, it's dated. I think you've been advised badly. And what's your name in the middle? Harry. Harry. I think you've got a pretty good voice, Harry. Thank you. I think you're not being used enough. <laughs> but maybe you do need a little bit of help. So I am going to say yes. What else can they do? They're five little kids from the street. They, when they need you, don't they? Did you see every single person in the theatre? Everyone in the theatre. They absolutely loved you out there. Yeah. How did um, it feel? Incredible. Oh, amazing. The most amazing experience of my life. Oh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. This week we're giving away the ultimate gadget package courtesy of Littlewoods.com including an iPad, an iPhone with docking station, a 7-inch portable DVD player, a stylish digital radio, a sat-nav, a Sony PSP with game, plus a pair of tickets to a Britain's Got Talent live semi-final. And there's even more because every time you enter the competition you'll be automatically entered into our huge Britain's Got Talent prize draw at the end of the series to win a jaw-dropping £50,000. For your chance to win, tell us the answer to the following question. In Series 1, young Connie Talbot sang Over the Rainbow at her audition. In which classic film is this song featured? A. The Sound of Music B. West Side Story or C. The Wizard of Oz Call 0901 293 9000 Calls cost £1 from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Or text A, B or C to 84066. Text costs £1 plus one standard network rate message. Red button viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter online for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over and lines close at 5.30pm on Saturday the 8th of May. Entries made after the closing time won't be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. talent where we've moved on to Manchester, a place that since last year has been twinned with Los Angeles. And the two cities have got a lot in common. Los Angeles is very glamorous. Just like Manchester. It's packed with beautiful people. Just like Manchester. And the sun is always shining. Two out of three ain't bad. It's time to find out if Manchester's got talent. And inside the theatre, the auditions are about to start. Ready to go. Up next is 41-year-old forklift truck driver, Jeff Derbyshire. Hello there. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, it's Jeff, Jeff Derbyshire. Jeff, Hi, nice Jeff. to meet you, Jeff. I'm Jeff Derbyshire. I'm 41. Uh, I drive a forklift in a warehouse and I'm from Wigan. One of the main reasons of me doing this show is the idea of uh, bettering myself and make a more comfortable life for me, uh, my family and my children. That's, that's my amb ambition. Fingers crossed, if this became the ultimate thing for me and it worked out and I did win, well, <laughs> sorry to say what, I don't think I'll be working in a warehouse again. It's what I'm doing. <laughs> Go for it. Go on. Um, Go on. If I get it yesterday, I can be the fantasy be a dream. It will actually be a dream. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Uh, it's uh, Jeff Derbyshire. Jeff, and I've got to ask the obvious, what's happened to your hooter? Uh, I had an operation done last, uh, last week on it, uh, just to straighten it and nerve, uh, because I was snoring a lot at home. Uh, my partner, <laughs> a lot of that. So. Right. <laughs> what have you come to do? I'm going uh, to be singing. Are you worried that the, the nose operation might affect the tone of your voice? No, no, don't, don't worry, honestly. No, no, don't worry. Okay. 